Hello again everyone, welcome to the tutorial for the Happy Days pattern for the Gromit dog walking bag. This is a really cute little bag and it is really great for beginners this bag. So if you're a beginner sewer, this is the bag for you if you want to have a go. Um, it's got, especially if you want to have a go at doing zips because it uses the easy zip method to insert a zip into a bag okay so this is a really beginner friendly bag so it opens up it's got a nice pocket inside you can pop your poo bags in there you've got the grommet out the front to pull them through so you learn how to put a grommet on you learn how to do your zip and put your handles on it's like i said it's a really great little um, bag for beginners so let's get started so the first step is to cut out your fabric according to the template. So you need one piece from um, template one, which is the top front section. So that's going to sit up there like that. I'm just doing this so you can see how the pattern looks. And then from two and three that you join together, this will fold in half and become your bottom piece like so. And then you'll also need um, to cut a rectangle from pattern piece four that is the back part so that's going to go on the back and then you need um from template four as well you need a piece for your lining as well so it should look like this okay so that's your pattern pieces you also need some webbing that you're going to have for your handle whatever you've chosen you will need a grommet um i've got a i think it's a 33 um millimeter grommet but you can have one that whatever you choose to have and also a zip now you need to make sure that your zip is longer than your the width of your bag okay so there's all the bits you need so once you've got all of that we'll go on to the next step we're going to start using um, the piece of fabric that you cut from template one so this is the top part of the fabric of your bag and you're going to fold it so this is the pretty side of my fabric so the right side up you're going to fold it in half so the pretty sides are touching and press along this edge so you should be looking at the wrong side of your fabric okay your fold line is here the raw edges are this side the next thing you're going to do is take your zip okay you're going to keep your zip pull to the left hand side and you're going to open up this piece of fabric give it an iron across first just to give it a nice crease because it makes it easier when you do this step open it up lay your zip into the fold and what you want to do is line the top edge of your zip up right into that fold of the fabric just like so and then you're going to fold it over carefully and then you're going to grab some clips and or pins or whatever you decide to use um, and clip along this top edge here. And then you're going to sew right the way along here to sew your zipper on. If you are unsure of how to use the zipper foot on your machine, I have done some tutorials in the guide section that show you how to use a zipper foot. Um, so watch that first because that will really help you okay so I'm just going to clip along this edge and then I'm going to sew right the way along here to secure this template one to the zip okay so I'm back from sewing uh, my zip on here and I'm just going to open my fabric out now and fold it underneath as well and then I'm going to give this a nice press with my iron Okay, pushing away from this zip edge to give it a nice flat edge. And then you're just going to top stitch down here. Okay, just to keep this bit of fabric on here. The reason you do this is to stop the lining being caught in the zip when you are opening and closing it. Okay, so open it out, give it a nice iron away from the zip like that. And then top stitch down this edge. So I'm back from top stitching along this edge of the zip and I'm just going to put this to one side for a moment and then the next piece you're going to get is your piece that you cut using templates two and three. So this is the bottom part of the front of the bag. 
Okay, I'm just going to zoom out slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half, pretty sides to pretty sides. Okay, you're going to fold that in half and iron along this edge here. So you've the iron along the fold. Okay, so once you've done that, you've taken it to your iron and you've ironed along your fold, you're going to cut the hole for your grommet. Now, you may have a different grommet to me. I'm going to show you how to use these ones. These are the ones that snap together. Okay, but I know some people use grommet tools. Um, so you just need to look at the instructions um, for how to do that on with, with your tool that you receive. I'm just going to show you how I do these ones. So the first thing we're going to do is find the centre of our fabric. So once it's folded, what we're going to do then is just fold it in half and just finger crease that there because that gives us our middle line. And then do the same by folding the fabric up and finger creasing it and you should have a centre point like so. Okay? You can see that there. Just move it in a bit more. Okay, so you can see I've got my centre point there from heart, from the crease of the fold there and the fold there. Okay, so the, I know where the centre of my fabric is. I can position my grommet so that it fits around that centre point as best I can. Now, you may look at this and think that's slightly off centre, but I'm looking through the camera. So it looks central to me, so hopefully it is. What we're going to do then is draw... I've got a friction pen to do this, but you can use um, chalk if you like. We're going to draw a circle around, just literally tracing the inside of that. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut around this circle. Now, this is probably going to be too small, this circle, but I always like to err on the side of caution with these and make it too small first. If you're not confident and never have, have never uh, inserted a grommet before, Try it on a scrap piece of fabric first, okay? Try playing around with it so you get the feel of what you need to do because you don't want to ruin your really nice fabric. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip along this edge because I want this to stay still while I'm cutting. I'm just going to put one in each side as well, just for security measures. And then I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to fold it because it's much easier to cut into this fold than it is to try and poke your scissors in so just cut into your fold like so and then you can open it out and cut round your circle like so just going to go all the way around and when we've done this we're going to try it try our grommet in to see if it fits in if it doesn't we're going to make it slightly bigger okay so nearly there okay so we've cut right the way through and i'm just going to try and put my grommet through now as you can see it's too tight and it's started to pull it won't just quite sit on there so I'm just going to go around a little bit further. So I'm just going to cut out just a tiny bit. And it literally is a tiny bit. Okay, don't overdo it because you don't want your grommet to become loose. It's far better to have to keep cutting little extra bits off than it is um, to end up with too big a hole. Okay, so I'm just going to just literally, you can see, cut another millimetre or two around this edge right the way around hopefully and don't worry if it's scruffy because once the grommet's on you're not going to see okay so i'm going to try again i'm going to lay my grommet down put my fabric over and this time you can see it fits nice and snug within my grommet okay so that part is done now. So you can take your grommet out because you do not want to um, be inserting this at this time. Remove your clips and then we'll go on to attach this to our zip. So for the next step, we need to get our zip back again. And we are going to take 
our piece with the grommet on that we've cut and we're going to do the same we're going to sandwich it inside now if you have directional fabric like me you need to check that you are putting the zip in the right place and i'm going to show you how to do that if i put my zip in here and fold it over when i flip it like so because this is how it's going to be and turn it round that is going to be the top and that's the direction of my fabric and i don't know if you can see but my suns are upside down or moon suns so i don't want it to be like that so i need to make sure that i turn my fabric this way so please check that before you do it if you have directional fabric because you do not want to end up with upside down fabric okay so i'm just going to show you how this is the right way so if i fold this over here and then flip it how it's going to be you can see if i turn it round my sons are now up the correct way okay so i'm going to insert the zip exactly the same way with that edge along the fold of my bag exactly the same before make sure that the zip pulls out you line up these side edges because you need it to line up with the top of your fabric at uh, the sides of your top piece of fabric so just take some time line it up within that fold flip it over i'm gonna have a fiddle around with mine in a minute to make sure it's dead on and then i'm going to clip along here just like before take it to the sewing machine and then we're going to sew with our zipper foot along this line just like we did for the bottom piece of the fabric okay so just sew straight along here again and don't forget to check that your fabric is going to be the right way up so if you want to flip it this way it should be the wrong way going that way okay if you turn it round because this is how your bag's going to look your fabric should be coming down this way the right way make sure you do that before there's no fun at using your seam ripper to undo it all okay so i'm just going to go to the sewing machine and sew along so i've sewn along um sewn my um outer piece of fabric to my zip the bottom piece i'm going to flip it open just like i did for the top section okay so you're going to join the two you want the two um bottom sections together and the two top sec sections together and then you're going to do the same you're going to iron this down and then top stitch along here again so i've top stitched um, i've ironed it out and top stitched along here and now i'm going to reinsert my grommet so you need to do this according to your um the instructions for your particular grommet piece so I'm just going to feed it around the edge there, get it in nice and tightly. It should sit nice and snug, but without pulling the fabric. Okay, and for my one, all I need to do now is just clip it on like so. And then we're going to put this bit to one side and work on with the rest of our back. So for the next step, we need to take our lining piece and our other outer piece of fabric that we've got for the back and we're going to take our lining piece and lay it face down so the pretty side is touching um is face down and we're looking at the wrong side of our fabric okay and then we're going to take our back piece and we're going to put the wrong side of it touching the wrong side of our lining so we should be looking at the pretty side of our fabric Okay, I'm just going to take our time and line up all the edges together. And then we're going to take our webbing or, or strap, whatever you've chosen, and we're going to measure in one centimeter and attach our handle to this. Okay, clipping on both sides. Now make sure when you put your handle on, that it doesn't kink, okay? And then measure in one centimeter from this side again with your ruler and clip this side like so. 
Now, I like to tack this in place to make sure it stays in place because I don't want my handles to move when I'm sewing it all together. So I'm just going to go to my sewing machine. I'm just going to zoom in for you so you can see. And I'm literally going to sew along this edge here so that it just tacks into the onto the bag, all right? I don't want this to show when I sew my bag together, so I'm gonna do it as close to the edge as I can, but still making sure that I tack, tack it on. You can put a couple of stitches on, hand stitching if you prefer. I just prefer to do it on the sewing machine. So I'm just gonna to go to my sewing machine and tack both of my handles on. So I've tacked my handle in place, I'm going to now take the main part um, of our bag that we've already sewn and we're going to undo the zip about halfway. You need to make sure you do this or you won't be able to pull your zip, your bag through um, once you've sewn it all together. So it's very important that you open your zip up, okay, a significant way. This is the front of your bag with the zip pull, okay, so you can see the zip pull there. So you need to make sure this part is touching this part of the fabric. So you should be looking at the outer part of your fabric, of your back, and you're gonna flip it over so those two are touching. So this should be the wrong side of that front bit. You should be looking at the back of the zip, okay? And you're just gonna line it all up nice and carefully. And you need to make sure these handles are tucked in. Now I pull mine through this gently. Obviously I don't wanna pull it up too much. Just to keep them out of the way, I'll just pull mine through my grommet a little bit. All right, and then I know that I'm not going to sew them um, into this side. When you get to this edge of your zip where you've opened it, just line it up carefully, like so, and you can either pin it or clip it. And I use this when I'm um, guiding my sewing machine through with this zip. You can hold. You, this is really great little tool. This if you haven't seen any of my other tutorials. This is um, called a purple thang, although this isn't purple, this is blue. My son bought me this for my birthday um, on Saturday, which was really lovely. He bought me a whole new set of them. And I just use it just to guide through because you can put this right underneath where your needle goes. It's absolutely brilliant for helping to close these zips up. Okay, so I'm just going to pin that there. When you're going over this, you might want to go back and forwards over your zip a few times with your sewing machine just to reinforce it. It's entirely up to you. But you're just going to line up all these sides nicely, take it to the sewing machine, and then this time you're literally going to sew right the way around your bag. All right, you don't need to leave a gap for turning. You just need to sew right the way around all of the edges. So I'm back from sewing all the way around my bag. Now, there is an optional step now. You can either zigzag stitch around the edge of your bag to stop these raw edges from fraying, or you can use some pinking shears that look like this and trim around the edge. That's what I've done with mine. But if you want to go around and secure it with zigzag stitches, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's a purely optional step. The other thing we're going to do is just trim our corners. So if you look at your corner there, we're going to cut a diagonal, making sure you don't go through that uh, the seam. And the reason we do this is to stop the bulk in the corner. It makes it it helps when you turn it through to give a nice crisp edge. So I'm just going to trim mine off like so. And then the last thing we need to do is to cut off the extra parts of the zip that we don't need. Okay, so you're just going to trim that right off. Like so. And then all we've got to do now is using our open zip, we're going to turn our bag in the right way. Now you might need to open your zip a little bit more to do this to make it a little bit easier. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to open mine a tiny bit more. Turn our bag through, pull our handles back out, and then we're going to push it through and make sure that we push out these corners. Now, I use again my little purple thing that happens to be blue today um, to push out these corners. It's a really, really great little tool. There's loads of uses for this tool. Um, if you watch my tutorials, you see I use it all the time, always raving about it. 
um, because it's just such a great little tool for so many different things. Um, but it really gets into these corners for turning out. So just spend a bit of time making sure that you've pushed all of your corners out like so. And then the last one, so turn that part of the bag out. Trim off any little bits of thread you've got left. I always seem to end up with bits of thread um, on mine. So I'm just going to pull it out. Okay, just going to push that one out a little bit more that side. Okay, so all that it, you need to do now is to go to your ironing board, give this a nice press, and there you have it your grommet dog walking bag complete.